ladies and gentlemen. I hope you're all having a great and wonderful day. And it seems that uh, California and the memes are going to be alive, considering the fact that uh, <laughs> the judge just went complete base mode on on uh, Gavin Newsom's horrible meme meme ban law, and uh, it looks like uh, memes are going to be alive, at the very least in California, and it ain't looking too great for the all forsaken dictator Gavin Newsom. Let's see how many more laws are going to smack down in California, as uh, Gavin Newsom is being quite the dictator. They have this from Politico saying, Judge blocks deepfakes law that sparked Musk Newsom row. Now, obviously, we're not going to listen to everything that Politico says because they are a left-wing pundit news, news media outlet, and, you know, they cannot be trusted. We have this here from Blaze Media saying, Wonderful repudiation of totalitarians. Judge rules Newsom censorous meme ban unconstitutional. And then we have federal judge blocks California Governor Newsom's deepfakes law that ignited fight with Elon Musk. So, uh, as you can see here, uh, things are not going too great for great Gavin Newsom himself. It says a federal judge on Wednesday blocked Gav California Governor, Governor Gavin Newsom's deepfakes law that ignited a fight with Elon Musk. He, last month, Newsom signed into signed into law a bill that made it illegal to knowingly distribute an, an ad or other election communication communications that contain material set of content, including deep fakes. So yeah, this is all that's going on here, and all the great jazz. And of course, it continues to go on here. The ruling is a blow to a push by the state's leading Democrats to rein in misleading content on social media ahead of election day. Chris Cole, known as Mr. Reagan on X, sued to prevent the state from enforcing the law after posting an AI-generated video of a Harris campaign ad on the social media site. He claimed the video was protected by the First Amendment because it was a parody. The judge agreed. Most of the law acts as a hammer instead of a scalpel, a senior U.S. District uh, John, uh, Judge John Mendez wrote, calling a blunt tool hinders humorous expression and unconstitutionally stifles a free and unfettered exchange of ideas. He carved out an ex exception for a not for a not unduly burdensome portion of the law that requires verbal disclosure of digitally altered content and audio only f recordings. Theodore Frank, an attorney for Cole, said in a statement they were gratified that the district court agreed with our analysis. Spokesperson uh, Izzy Garden said in a statement that the governor's of office was confident the courts would uphold California's ability to regulate deepfakes, which failed, by the way. He said the law was reasonable, arguing it was in line with a similar measure restricting deepfakes passed in Alabama. Deepfakes threaten the integrity of our elections, and these new laws protect our democracy while preserving free speech, Garden said. Satire remains alive and well in California, which it doesn't, even though for those who missed the uh, punchline. Cole first posted the video in July. The digitally manipulated spot mimics Harris's voice and says she's the ultimate diversity hire. It was shared by ex-owner Elon Musk, sparking a public rebuke from Newsom, who vowed to ban the practice. After Newsom inked the last law last month, Musk taunted him by reposting the video on X and writing, the governor of California just made this parody video illegal in violation of the Constitution of the United States. We would be ashamed if it went viral, and now has over 50 million views. Yes, we all know that uh, that Gavin Newsom is a dictator, right? Gavin Newsom is not this person that we would call like a wonderful human per wonder wonderful human being. And uh, as we can see here, Gavin Newsom has uh, has some major issues. He has a great of a pitfall, if you will, because the man here is really just trying to uh, uh, do do everything that he can to uh, you know uproot the society here, uproot our country. And the and well, I would say this, that the Democrats are trying everything in their power to try and uh, literally just try to shut things down, try to, not make, try to win and Kamala Harris uh, uh, dictatorship, right? Well, another thing I want to point out to you guys, one more thing I want to point out is that Gavin Newsom, if you haven't realized or noticed, is that he's really upping the draconian, very high dictator type stuff here in California since it's been getting closer and closer to the election. And due to that, uh, it has all these horrible negative side effects and stuff like that that is leading this to be happening, right? And another thing that I also have to say as well, guys, 
Gavin Newsom also went out and did the unthinkable. He also tried to sign a bill barring local governments and the state for establishing local laws requiring residents to present identification to vote. Now, why did he do this? So between this and trying to do the, the deep fake law here, and then this law here where he's literally saying, oh, well, here's legislation the council's digest, says... An act is to add section one zero 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 five to the elections code relating to elections. An existing law permits the governing body of a city or district to request that the county render specified services to the city or district regarding the conduct of an election. This bill would prohibit a local government from enacting or enforcing any charter provision, ordinance, or regulation requiring a person to present identification for the purpose of voting or submitting a ballot at any polling place, vote center, or other location where ballots are cast or submitted as specified. The bill would include findings that changes proposed by this bill address a matter of statewide concern rather than a municipal affair and therefore apply to all cities, including charter cities. So yeah, he's really just trying to uh, rig this election in every way possible. Now, I'm not going to say that Trump is going to go win California. I don't think he's going to. But that's beside the point. It's the fact that Regardless of how many Republican voters or whatever in California would want to go vote for Donald Trump, those vo those some of those votes could be null and void because they don't have to present identification for who's going to be voting where. Now, I don't think he's going to win California, but it's really crazy that Gavin Newsom is coming out with these laws very close to the election. So we'll see what happens here. But that's insanity, and we it, it just can't believe it's, it's what's going on, going on, right? Can't believe what's been going on. So, uh, yeah, Th this is insanity. This is insanity in every way we go, and uh, I don't know what else to tell you guys. Well, a victory got victory for freedom of speech, victory for everything that we have. So uh, everything is going good so far with the memes. Like guys, okay, guys, that's it for the video. Like, subscribe, share. As always, take care, my friends. I'm disgusted by what I see in public. Even people closest to us can't be trusted because it's algorithmic disease. The social media.